This is my hammock. It is a M1966 U.S. Army jungle hammock. It was used by the Marines in the Vietnam War. And um, the Marines stayed in this for days setting up listening posts because it's a really strong hammock. It's not going to break. And um, it has really high count woven nylon so that it won't mess up on you and also so that mosquitoes can't bite through the bottom of it, which is a major design concern. Um, the one flaw of this is said to be that you sweat when you sleep in it, but in fact that is not true. You don't really sweat when you sleep in it, especially if you wear the proper clothing, which is nylon, and you do, you every time you sweat it just evaporates. It's got inside a current era U.S. modular sleep system summer bag and a pillow, which is a memory foam pillow. I've used my this is a flexible shock cord ridge line, which is the only ridge line that worked so far. And inside is a AA squared turbo flashlight Phoenix headband and a Z light summer rest foam pad. And the cord that's used on it right now is paracord, but it needs to be a non-stretchy cord because the paracord, it doesn't do a good job of the staying still. It just stretches way too much, and I don't like this because it, well, you'll have to tighten it too much, and it's just is a pain. What it really needs is it needs something that's braided that doesn't stretch like it came with, but the cord it came with was braided nylon, and it wasn't long enough to go around these trees twice. You have to wrap this hammock around the tree twice, otherwise it just won't work because it'll go to side to side and you'll be uncomfortable. Same thing for the other side. And I have a tarp that goes over this, which is right there with all my stuff sitting on it that I made myself with the help of my neighbor. And it works great. But uh, little things um, is this is sawn on on one side and then it has Velcro on the other side so that you can take this completely off and sit in it like a swing and have a cover over your head to keep the bugs from biting you and just relax and enjoy the day. Uh, it uses sticks for spreader bars which with my kukri right there I can get really easy just by using the kukri to chop down a little tree and this is live wood ladies and gentlemen I am not a tree hugger so if you want to complain, feel free to leave comments. But this is a live tree that went to a good cause of giving me a good night's sleep. And I don't have a problem with this, but some people do. So this is the hammock from a wide angle view. Right there. Just hangs from pine tree to pine tree. Nice system. Easily transportable. It weighs under two pounds. And it's just a dream to sleep in. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. This is a video review of the hammock that I made right now. Get inside here. I have a ground pad which goes perfectly in this style of hammock, which is excellent. Because normally in a hammock you can't put your ground pad inside the hammock without it bunching up on the ends and getting all in your way and just being really uncomfortable. But with this one, with this foam padding, actually adds to the comfort of the hammock, so you have a quarter inch of padding under you, which is great.